Hello everyone. Uh, the consolidation process is divided into three stages. Initial consolidation, primary consolidation and secondary consolidation. In this video, we are going to discuss the all three stages. So first stage is initial consolidation. When a load is applied to a partially saturated soil, a decrease in volume occurs due to expulsion and compression of the air in the voids. A small decrease in volume also occurs due to expulsion and compression of soil particles. The reduction in volume of the soil just after the application of load is known as initial consolidation or initial compression. When soil is saturated, there won't be air voids. In such case, initial consolidation will be mainly due to compression of solid particles. The second stage of consolidation is primary consolidation. After initial consolidation, further reduction in volume occurs due to expulsion of water from voids. When a saturated soil is subjected to pressure, Initially, all the applied pressure is taken up by water as an excess pore water pressure as water is almost incompressible as compared to solid particles. A hydraulic gradient is developed and water starts flowing out and decrease in volume occurs. This reduction in volume is called as primary consolidation. As water escapes from the soil, the applied pressure is gradually transferred by the escaping water to the solid particles. Thus, effective stress increases. The primary consolidation depends on permeability. In fine grained soils, the permeability is low. Hence, primary consolidation occurs over a long time. On the other hand, in case of coarse grained soil, it occurs quickly due to high permeability. The third stage of consolidation is secondary consolidation. The reduction in volume continues at a very slow rate even after the excess hydrostatic pressure developed by the applied pressure is fully dissipated and the primary consolidation is completed. This additional reduction in volume is called as secondary consolidation. The cause of secondary consolidation is not fully established but it is attributed to the plastic readjustment of the solid particles and the absorbed water to the new stress system. Thank you.